Hello guys and welcome to Crypto Bible. My name is Elroy Welsh and today we're going to be looking at why people are moving past Bitcoin and investing in other coins and also how to build a portfolio in general. Now before I go into this video please give me a like, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you don't miss any other episodes from us. Also be advised that we're actually running a competition at the moment as Crypto Bible, where you can win up to £300 worth of Shiba Inu. So for first prize, £300 worth of Shiba Inu. Second prize, £100 worth of Shiba Inu. And third prize, £100 worth of Shiba Inu again. So in total, we're giving away £500. But you can actually win £300 worth of Shiba Inu. Now, all you have to do is go over to Facebook Check the link in the description below, it will be there. Check on our Facebook, go into the group and join the group, like something and share something as well. And then that gives you entry into the competition. We're running this competition all the way through March and you can stand a chance of winning 300 pounds of Shiba Inu. Right, we're gonna go into this first story now. I'm gonna pop it up onto the screen. So. The article says, how do you build a crypto portfolio and why investors are moving beyond Bitcoin and back to other crypto assets and DeFi? So, Bitcoin and Ethereum may dominate the crypto market when it comes to value, but there is more to the sector than just high profile crypto asset price moves. The crypto sector is also attracting investors due to the opportunities and functionality that the underlying blockchain technology provides, with one particular area of interest being decentralized finance. The crypto sector has come a long way since Bitcoin first emerged in 2009, with the aim of providing a technology-based currency that removed the need for banks. But things move fast in the crypto space and the spotlight has shifted from digital currency to other opportunities crypto assets can provide, such as through decentralized finance. It can be hard for investors to evaluate crypto assets and their applications. So here we've outlined what decentralized finance is and explain how eToro's smart portfolio and eToro's Academy aim to help. This is an industry very much in its infancy and anyone considering investing should do careful research. The Financial Conduct Authority advises crypto asset investors to only invest money they can afford to lose. And guys, how many times have we heard this? This is like the staple statement uh, when you're investing don't invest any money that you can't afford to lose. Like if you think that, you know, I'm going to put this money up and it's going to be at risk. And if it goes, like I'm not going to be able to eat or anything like that, do not invest that money. So also, if you guys don't know what eToro is, eToro is an investing app. Um, it's quite clever, actually, where you can do things like copy, copy trading. Um, there's actually like portfolios that are there, like already, like they might pick out some crypto portfolios and you don't actually have to do any research. You can just like, you say, this is a portfolio. I want to, I want to put so much money into it and just go with that. Um, or copy trading. You can actually just copy other investors and say, whatever they invest in, I'm going to invest in. Um, so it's quite, it's quite a cool app. And then obviously you can do your own investing just, just on your own through by yourself anyway. So what is decentralized finance? Major crypto assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano are built on their own technology known as blockchain. One of the attractions of many of the alternative blockchains to Bitcoin is rather than keeping this technology locked into that application, they have been opened up to allow developers and organizations to create apps. These include letting people exchange transfer and use funds without any intermediaries in what is known as decentralized finance or DeFi. Decentralized finance aims to shift 
the center of power away from traditional financial institutions such as banks, insurance companies, and clearing houses. DeFi firms argue that this can offer lower charges and faster service without having to rely on expensive bureaucratic traditional financial services. Smart contracts can be used to make this work. These are programs on a blockchain that completely actions when set conditions are made, when set conditions are met. This can execute an agreement automatically and remove the need for middlemen. Right, so going into e investing in decentralized finance. Decentralized finance aims to provide financial tools built to record on public blockchains without clunky traditional banking and administrative systems. The idea is that everything is done online and can be tracked using smart contracts stored on the blockchain. For example, Ethereum is a common blockchain that decentralized finance apps and tools are built on, which in turn could help boost the value of its native crypto asset, ETH. A fee is required to conduct a transaction or execute a contract on Ethereum blockchain. This is known as gas. Gas is commonly expressed in GUI, which is a smaller domination of Ethereum cryptocurrency. Like pence and pounds, we have GUI and ETH. So if, you, if you're kind of new to trade, uh, if you're new to investing, in cryptocurrencies a lot of times you'll see that if you buy something and it's on a ethereum blockchain that it will be quite expensive to make those transactions and that is what they're talking about here so the gas fees um can be quite high and other cryptocurrencies that are actual platforms as well will actually let you buy and buy and exchange cryptos but for a cheaper amount uh, so yeah that's what they're referring to when they're talking about the, the the gas fees, basically there. So this is a bit we really want to know. Investing in a crypto asset portfolio, an important consideration when investing is diversification. And guys, we, we can't say this enough. Obviously, right here on the channel, we're not trying to give you financial advice. We're just going through some of these articles that we found that we think there'll be some useful parts that can help you. But again, this is an important thing. It's always important to consider when investing, making sure that you diversify your portfolio. So an important consideration when investing is diversification, which can be done across different asset classes and also within individual asset classes. A diversified portfolio generally does not consist of just one type of investment, such as crypto, but is spread across a variety of assets stocks, bonds, commodity, commodities, and cash, for example. The FCA has warned that crypto is volatile and high risk, and investors should only put money they can afford to lose into the, this element of their portfolio. For the crypto element of any portfolio, diversifying and putting your money into a range of well-researched projects and crypto assets can ensure risks are spread across different use cases rather than putting all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, so essentially like, you know, from, from the article that we're seeing, like obviously the diversification is very important. So you don't wanna put all your eggs in one basket as we always hear, as we all know, like make sure that you're spreading it out between different cryptocurrencies. You're not just going into one and putting your life savings in there making sure that you're putting in money that you can afford to lose because no one knows what's going to happen in this space. It can be a great investment and you can make a lot of money, but also at the same time, you can lose everything that you've put in. So make sure you're diversifying, make sure that you're doing research and make sure that, you know, this is something that you're, you're quite confident in. And if even so, if it doesn't go the way that you thought it would do, that even if you lost that money, it wouldn't be an issue to you. Thank you very much, guys, for uh, diving into this article with us. Also, make sure you click that like button, 
subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. And don't forget about the competition that we're running at the moment. It's free crypto. So all you got to do is head on over to the Facebook page. Make sure that you join that page, like something, share something off the page, and you will stand a chance of winning up to £300 worth of Shiba. But thank you very much, guys. I've been Elroy Welsh, and check out the rest of the channel. Check out some of the videos that we've got on here. And yeah, have a great day.